Am I the A for refusing to do any more free work for him and ghosting him after he announced that I will be excluded from being his plus one in the future? I, female 36, love my job. I get to help people and also get to meet pretty interesting people. I'm coming here because I abruptly ended my relationship. Greg, male 38, and he's asking for answers. I'm hurt and want to stay away because whatever I did for him came from the heart, but it wasn't received with sincerity. My doubt here is whether I should grant closure for his daughter, female 16. I have a good career, good benefits, and I make good bonuses. My company sent me abroad, and upon closing that project, I had a few weeks off until we took on the next assignment. During that time, I devoted my energy to helping Greg's career. I saw nothing wrong with it. It made sense to help a loved one, plus nothing would have made me happier than to see him succeed. He's always made me feel appreciated. We were building a future together, and I don't consider myself selfish. This was a serious relationship, and we had talked about marriage. I filed an RFP on his behalf, and I started his network with some of my own contacts. I don't want to make this too long, but I will say that things started to work out. No, he hasn't gotten any contracts yet, but I helped him meet people who will assist him. I never got paid because he couldn't afford a consultant, and that's not the point. What bothers me is that once he started making progress, his attitude towards me changed. He became critical of my DIY projects and called it a waste of time. He said I should be doing more productive things. He also disapproved of me assisting one of my friends in her pastry shop when one of her employees was sick. I've done this like a dozen times, and I don't need him to tell me whether I can help my friends or not. And I told him. He said that I should do whatever I want, but an executive behind a counter looked weird. I called him out because I found it offensive, and I want him to respect my friends. He says that I misunderstood and apologized. So he didn't win the RFP. It was expected, as I had explained that we were submitting it as an exercise. There would be competitors with a huge track record. We attended events and did lots of things together. We were talking on the phone the other day, and he said his daughter will be his plus one on every single event he will attend when his company takes off. For background, he's referring to executive-only outreach activities held in our district. He said his daughter deserves it and that he sees it as appreciation. I asked if I would be included, and he said his portrait of family should be just him and her in official situations because we are not married. This made me feel very insecure. I didn't say anything because I didn't even know how to approach him at that moment, but I was livid. The way he said we are not married had a tone that I didn't like. I have no doubts that his daughter deserves to share her father's moments of victory. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I shouldn't be there. I wasn't counting on being excluded. He has always mentioned that I'm family in the past, but he had a tiny taste of what could be achieved. And now I need to get ready to be tossed aside. This has nothing to do with his daughter. It has to do with the way he sees me. Now I'm uncomfortable with everything and constantly being asked to do things. I was very happy to help, but it is one thing to do it from the heart and another to allow him to use me. He says things about my contacts, not replying to his calls, and he claims that they don't care for me if they don't have the deference to reply. Knowing that I introduced him, he doesn't understand that these are very busy people. I usually did follow-up messages, but I'm not doing that anymore. I asked him about this later. He said I'm drowning in a glass of water. I did finish helping his daughter with her school research project, literature, 
but I have stopped doing business-related activities for him. His daughter and I have a cordial relationship, but we are not close, although we do get along. I spent a few days without initiating contact, and I felt less bad about what's happening, so I'm taking the ghosting route. He wants an explanation and has been sending me links to other RFPs. I've no interest in replying. I intended to send his daughter my Christmas gift. I already bought it. He's been blowing up my phone and texting. Some of his messages imply that I'm irresponsible and that I know he's counting on this to send his daughter to college. I really have lost all desire to talk to him because I feel really stupid. Am I the A for offering no closure? Now for the top comments. Not the A. You are putting so much time, effort, and your own reputation into helping him succeed, and he seemed to have zero respect for all of that. Once he started gaining a bit of traction due to all your hard work, he seemed to get a tad too arrogant, like he was suddenly super successful when he really isn't. He really took you for granted, and sounds like he was starting to use you for your contacts plus the knowledge he clearly doesn't have himself. It also sounds like he had no intention of sharing his success with you at all. Not that you need it, as you're clearly successful yourself, but you know what I mean. Not the A, but maybe just one message saying, I'm breaking up with you since you're so experienced in this. You can manage your own business. You clearly don't need my help because you know it all. Best of luck. And then block him on everything. You can send a message to the daughter saying you've broken up with her dad, but have a Christmas present for her to pick up or arrange a drop off. I don't trust the dad with the present. You can obviously ghost him if you want, but it might be cleaner to send that one text and then block him on everything. Not the AOP. If you're worried about his daughter and you have her contact info, you can reach out to her separately and explain. But if you weren't that close to her, then you might be okay without anything formal. You would know best. As for Greg, seems like a classic case of a man who only seemed like a good person because he didn't have the power to be a bad one. Don't feel bad about cutting him out of your life. He isn't your child so you have no reason to tolerate his ingratitude. I've heard this sort of thing is pretty common, actually. If you try to build up a man or his career for him, maybe applies to women too, but I hear more stories like this about men. You think you're being helpful, and you are, but for whatever reason, it makes the other person feel insecure about any success that comes from that help. As a result, they sometimes end up pushing away or mistreating the person who helped them as a way of coping with that insecurity or possibly to prove they can be successful without you. Anyway, I'm proud of you for walking away. He wouldn't have changed. He would only get worse. And if he follows the pattern of other people like him, then he would have eventually started cheating on you with someone else or broken up with you as soon as he felt stable enough on his own. It's not irresponsible to walk away. He's a grown man with an almost grown child. If he can't handle himself now, that isn't on you. You already gave him a perfectly good springboard. You don't owe it to him or even to his daughter to hold his hand while he jumps on it. It's definitely pretty unprofessional of me, but I'd be tempted to reach out to said contacts and get them to drop him or whatever that amounts to in your field of work, I don't know. But it's also fine to just write it off and be done. If he's gonna flop, he's gonna flop. Although, be sure that people know not to associate you together anymore, since he could still potentially use your name or reputation behind your back. I don't know what kind of person he is, so I can't say if he's self-centered enough to do that, but it's a possibility. Good luck, OP. I hope you meet someone that truly appreciates you in the future. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.